Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have had an abundance of hydrangeas, um, abundance of some of my herbs out in my pots. So today is a dreary, rainy, ugly day. So I thought it might be a great day to put some of these to good use. Um, the first thing I'm going to make today is an iced lavender green tea. Unfortunately, my lavender is the only plant that's really not blooming yet. My one tiny little spray, but that's okay. I went ahead and bought some lavender um, at the market. So all I did for this recipe is I added one quart of water to a saucepan, and let it boil, and then I took it off the pan and added this uh, the Twinnings, the green tea with mint. I like mint, so I wanted the kind that had a little mint in it. Added four tea bags, three quarter teaspoons of the lavender, and I'm letting that steep for about five minutes. So I already have that going right here in my pot. Just sitting on the counter, and let me tell you, the lavender already smells amazing. I love lavender. And then I wanted to bring in some of my hydrangeas. Um, I love hydrangeas, but if you've ever cut them and brought them in, they last like one day. And I thought there has to be a way to let them last a little longer. So there is. I cut these this morning. They've been sitting in this um, bucket for probably five or six hours. Um, cut them on an angle. And then the trick is to put dip the stems in boiling water. That's going to help them to stay open for the stems not to kind of reseal. So all I'm going to do is stick them into boiling water for about 30 seconds. And that should help them last more than one day. We'll see if this trick works. It's supposed to work, so we will give it a shot. But I, I cut these earlier this morning. It's gonna rain for about the next five or six days and I thought I might as well enjoy some of my plants and before the deer eat them. The deer have ruined some of my plants. We did spray, but unfortunately they had already got a hold of some of my plants, but that's okay. They're all coming back and I just love the hydrangeas. They are so pretty. And then after, the, and then the next thing I wanted to make today was a little bit of flavored olive oil. I love olive oils. I have a little charcuterie spread out for t this afternoon. It's gonna be, like I said, an ugly and dreary day. So I thought it might be nice to just relax and have a little bit of a snack this afternoon. I thought I would make some of my own olive oil. And then of course I have a little pitcher full of just room temperature water here. This is a really cute Mackenzie Child's pitcher that I picked up a while back. And with my hydrangeas, I like to pull the leaves off, most of the leaves off. I like to look like that and I like it kind of big and overflowing and, and kind of droopy. I like that look with the hydrangeas. So. I'm just going to dip the rest of these in and we will see how this little project works. I love the hydrangeas. I have got some of the biggest hydrangeas and they're just beautiful. They're really, I think they're my favorite plant. My favorite flower is the hydrangea. I'm always bringing them in, planting more. They're just a beautiful plant. And I really like the white ones. I had some pink ones, but really I just really like the Annabelle white ones. They're just so pretty. They really match everything. They look beautiful just in a big white puffy cloud in an arrangement. And they're really gonna look pretty in this Mackenzie Child's picture. So this is all I cut for today. I figured we'll give this little science experiment a go and see what happens. And then my tea is just about ready to drain. Actually, I'm gonna let it cool a little longer. I'll probably pull the tea bags out, let it cool a bit before I strain it. I've got a really cute, um, pitcher for my tea. I'm going to pull the last couple leaves off that snuck in. And I, may, I may end up cutting these a little bit more, but I just love the hydrangeas. So I think that looks very pretty sitting on the counter. So I'm going to use, I have our, this already filled with some ice for my tea. I think it's going to, it's really cute. And then I have this picture from, now who is this from? Now I can't even think about it, think. Emma Bridgewater, hello, Emma Bridgewater picture that I'm gonna use for my tea. And I also brought in, 
brought in some of my fresh mint. I love mint in my tea, so I brought in some fresh mint. And like I said, I only got one little sprig of lavender, but that's okay. My plant's going to get more. It's got quite a few buds on it, but it's not quite open yet. And then for some olive oil, flavored olive oil, all I did is take just some olive oil I picked up at the market. I picked this up at the market and I have dill that is just exploding. So I, um, I bought these cute little bottles off Amazon and I added some dill in here. I'm just simply going to warm the oil up, add it in here, let it kind of sit a little bit, and then it will be good to go. You don't want to boil the oil, just let it warm a little bit, and that's going to be really, really good. Like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and pull the tea bags out, and then we will strain this. I think iced green tea is a really anything better on a hot summer day than a a lovely glass of tea? I don't think so. I love a good iced tea. And then here is going to be our little charcuterie spread for this afternoon. We've got some bread. I like the pickles. He likes the olives. Some fruit, some cheese, some meat, and then we're going to have the olive oil to dip it in. My tea, I think it's going to make for a really nice snack later on this afternoon. Might as well do something on this cold, dreary day. It's amazing how the weather has just been changing like crazy, especially here in the Midwest. It's gone from hot to cold to hot to cold. You just seem like you never know what you're going to get. So I'm going to let this oil warm just a little bit before I add it in. Like I said, you don't want to boil the oil, so, let, so we'll just warm it up just a little bit. really really nice with the bread and I think while that's boiling we are going to go ahead and pull these tea bags out it's been five minutes oh it smells fantastic if you could smell this oh my goodness wonderful wonderful this is going to be delicious tea The smell of lavender, is there anything better than the smell of lavender? It's one of my all-time favorites. So we're going to let that continue to cool before I drain it, or strain it, and get all the lavender out of it. And then the oil has warmed. Yep, so we will pull that off. I said you don't want it to boil so we will just pull the oil off and add it in to here this is going to be a dill oil oh my gosh i love dill my sister-in-law makes a fabulous dill dressing and i love it i think it's like three or four ingredients and it is amazing i think i did about 12 ounces for this bottle and that looks like it's going to be just about right. Almost perfect. All right. Pop that off. It came with these cute little tops. And then we're just going to let that sit for a while. I think that's going to be really, really, really delicious with the bread. And everything else. Um, the tea, like I said, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. And then all you do is, like I said, strain it. Just strain it into here. I'm gonna let it cool just a few more minutes. And while I'm letting that cool, I have something kind of fun to show you. This just came in the mail today. I did open it and take the packaging out, but I haven't really explored the products yet. It's my monthly beauty society beauty box. Not sponsored, nothing like that. I just really found this brand through a friend of mine and I have really been happy with it. It's just an online brand called Beauty Society. 
but I'm a subscriber to their monthly beauty box and there's just some really unique products. I know I featured last time the blue light mist spray, which I use because I know if you're like me, you're sitting at your computer for hours a day sometimes and I just spritz that, just kind of hydrates you, filters the blue light out. So this box came in the mail today. So I was excited to see what's in it. Um, like I said, I am a subscriber and I have been really happy with all of their products. They've got some amazing, unique products. Um, in here this month is the Drama Free Repair Serum, which I have been using already. I have the full size bottle and I like these. They come in these little refills so you can just refill your big bottle or these are awesome for travel. When I was in Palm Beach a couple weeks ago, I took this size in my travel bag. It was just nice not to have the bottles and things. So I love that. And for each one of these that they sell, they plant a tree. So that's nice also. They're very environmentally conscious, environmentally friendly. Um, the perfect form, neck and decollete repair cream. I have been using this since I think December, January. It was one of the very first products I bought from Beauty Society and I love it. You can also use it under your eyes to help with the puffiness and things. I love it. And it also came, like I said, with another refill. So this is probably going to last me probably a year. I use it every night before I go to bed and I love it. And then this month is one of their Lip Nirvana Long Lasting Matte Lipsticks. I love a good lipstick and this is just a really pretty that's just a really pretty nude color. Now that we don't have to wear masks all the time, we can get back to wearing our favorite lipsticks. Just a really pretty nude color. That's gonna be a great color, especially when you have a suntan. And, and every month they also have a little electronic gadget. So this is the Beauty Society Aromatherapy Diffuser. I love a good diffuser too. I have three or four throughout my house. I always have one going up in my office. So this one is just a cute little diffuser. Last month they had a nice um, travel like clarisonic -y like brush. It's wonderful. I took that again when I was traveling. This is very nice. I'll need to, I believe I'm going to need to charge this up. Oh, it's got all these little pads on it, and it came with a eucalyptus oil. Fabulous, especially for this time of year when my allergies have really kicked in with everything that's going on outside. So this is going to be really nice. I'll probably put this in my office as well, or just be also really nice to travel with if you're going somewhere. So I just thought I'd share that with you too. It's a it's a great subscription box. I love it. I look forward to it every month. This month, the theme was called Peace of Mind. And I really, really, really am happy with everything that I've tried. They always send you full-size products every month. Usually, there's a little sample or something new to try every month as well. So, um, something to check out. I'll link it in the description box below. But again, it's called Beauty Society. And so now, I think my tea is cool enough so why don't we strain that out and see what we've got oh it's gonna be so good and I really don't mind if there's a little bit of lavender in my tea I really like lavender and like I said I've got a little bit of fresh mint to put in there so good And this just makes four servings. I just made, I just made a small one since it's just for me. And when I filled my cup earlier with a little bit of ice, pour a little bit of ice over. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick the mint in there. I love mint. My mint plant is growing like crazy. It's going to make for some very nice mojitos at the next pool party. Let's give this a try. It's delicious. Fresh tea, there is nothing better. Oh my gosh, and I love a lavender tea. But this is going to be what I'm going to spend my afternoon doing. We're going to enjoy our tea, our charcuterie, 
and our delicious dill oil. It's still a little warm, so I'm gonna let that cool a little more before we enjoy that. But it's gonna be a nice afternoon of just sitting home and relaxing. I think it's a perfect day for that. We've had a busy few weeks. I was in Palm Beach, came home, our son got married about five days later, then it was my husband's birthday and Father's Day. We've had a lot going on, so I think I'm going to enjoy the day just relaxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy making fun stuff for the kitchen, for the home. Hit the subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Give this video a like, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a wonderful week.